This video will cover an introduction to the sixth edition of APA citation style. We will focus on in-text citations. In-text citations are found in the body of your paper. Anytime you include information that is not your own, you need to include an in-text citation. APA in-text citations include the author's last name, followed by a comma, then the year of publication. There are two ways to use in-text citations. The first way is to put the citation at the end of the sentence, where the whole citation is in parentheses. In this case, you'll write a statement that includes information from a source, meaning information that is not your own. Then you include your in-text citation. This is in open parentheses, the author's last name, a comma, the year of publication, you close the parentheses, and then put a period to end the sentence. Note that the period is after the citation, so the citation is considered to be part of the sentence. The second way to write your in-text citation is to include it within your sentence instead of at the end. In this case, you would include the author's name within the sentence, directly followed by the year of publication in parentheses. The author date template for in-text citations is used when you are paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means that you are writing in your own words without directly quoting the material. If you directly quote the material using the source's exact words and quotations, you also need to include the page number in your citation by listing P period and the page number. If you mention the author's name in the sentence followed by the year, the page number will still be at the end of the sentence. There are also a number of rules for how to list authors depending on the amount of authors. If the material you are citing has two authors, you need to include both authors' last names. Use an ampersand when the citation is at the end of the sentence, and use the word and when the author's names are written in the sentence. If the material you are citing has between three to five authors, you are going to list all the author's names the first time you cite, followed by a comma, then the year. Every additional time you cite that resource, you include the author's name and the words et al, period, comma, then the year of publication. Et al is a Latin phrase that means and others, and it replaces the other author's names. Pay attention to where the period and comma go for this. If the material you are citing has six or more authors, you always use the first author's name followed by et al, period, comma, year of publication. If the material you are citing has no author, you might use the organization as the author. For example, your resource might be written by a government agency. Depending on the resource, you could also use the material title in place of the author. Also, if the material you are citing has no date, such as some web pages, use the abbreviation ND for no date in place of the year. Please note that your in-text citations must correspond to a citation in your reference list at the end of your paper. The in-text citations provide a small amount of information about the resource, but the reference list is where the full citations are listed, and those contain more details. The author that is listed in your in-text citation must be the first item that appears in your full citation in the reference list. For more details on creating in-text citations, you can refer to in-depth resources such as Purdue Al, the online writing lab from Purdue University. This website is a useful tool to refer to when creating APA citations. Remember that librarians are always available to assist you during all open hours. Please don't hesitate to contact us.